Are you wondering how to drive action with your copy every single time? Do you rely too much on rational selling as opposed to emotional selling? Hi there, I'm Lauren, head of the copywriting department here at Globatel, and I'm coming to you today from sunny South Africa. Now, a copy can either help or harm your client's brand. Often, the words that you use on a website, in a social media post, a mailer, or even a blog post have the potential to drive conversions and engagement. Now, a surefire way to add some bang to your client's copy is to make the audience feel something when they read it. Now, before we take a look at the emotional triggers that you can use, I want to warmly welcome back all the digital agency owners who've been with us before, and hello to first-time viewers. We release new videos every week to help you build and scale a better digital agency. So subscribe and turn on those notifications so that you never miss a video. Now let's take a look at five copywriting emotional triggers that you can use to connect your clients with their customers. Consumers are often driven by how a product or service makes us feel rather than just the features and the benefits. From excitement and curiosity to fear and the need for belonging, it's the emotions that influence our perceptions and behaviors. It's tapping into these emotions when writing copy that can create those stronger connections with an audience, increase brand loyalty, and ultimately drive conversions like sales. First, curiosity. Curiosity is a powerful emotion that compels customers to seek answers and explore the unknown. This is especially important if you're writing copy for a new or small brand that cannot rely on brand recognition. You want to beat your audience's curiosity in your copywriting, draw them in and keep them engaged. So consider using open-ended questions, intriguing headlines and teasing snippets of information to arouse curiosity and compel the reader to want to learn more. Whether you are unveiling a surprising fact or teasing a forthcoming product launch or posing a thought-provoking question, Harnessing the power of curiosity can make your copy irresistibly clickable. Second, fear. Fear can prompt readers to take an action, either to avoid negative consequences or to mitigate risks, right? But fear should be used ethically. For example, you could highlight the potential pitfalls of not using your particular product or service. You could also showcase real life examples of problems that these clients may be facing, or you could tap into common anxieties. Ultimately, fear-driven copy is what motivates readers to take an action and seek solutions. And in this case, it's your client's solutions. However, you always wanna make sure that you strike a balance and ensure that the messaging offers a way forward or provides a great solution that will alleviate the fear rather than making them feel helpless and more fearful. Let's imagine a skincare brand has tapped into the common fear of aging by highlighting the potential consequences of neglecting one's skin. By subtly addressing the reader's concern and introducing a solution, which in this case is a miraculous anti-aging product, the brand is able to effectively leverage fear to drive an action. In addition, they can use uh, powerful storytelling and compelling testimonials in order to connect with the audience on an emotional level, ultimately helping them to take proactive steps to great skincare. Third, urgency. Creating a sense of urgency in your copywriting can spur immediate action and drive conversions. At the end of the day, most of your clients want you to help them to boost their sales. And they wanted that yesterday. So by instilling FOMO in your copy can really compel readers to do something right away, like to seize an opportunity or to avoid missing out on a limited time offer. Use phrases like act now, limited quantities available, and offer expires soon to convey that urgency and to encourage prompt action. Fourth, exclusivity. Most consumers have a natural inclination towards exclusivity. They want to feel special and like they're part of this exclusive group. So by positioning your client's product or service as exclusive or limited to only a select few, you can tap into that innate desire and drive engagement. Highlighting the VIP perks and the members-only benefits can really make an audience feel privileged and valued, fostering this real sense of uh, loyalty and belonging. So whether it's honing in on how a brand offers their exclusive discounts, their early access, or their invitation-only events, you can enhance a brand's appeal and drive customer attention through the copy that you write for them. Fifth, belonging. The desire for belonging is a fundamental human need that influences every consumer's behavior and decisions. 
So in your copywriting, ensure that you use inclusive language, storytelling, and testimonials to create this real sense of camaraderie and solidarity. Then you wanna link that feeling to your client's brand. So by choosing headings and body copy that focus on user-generated content, highlighting shared values, and creating this online community, you can effortlessly and naturally create brand advocates for your clients. In conclusion, the next time you're writing content for your client, steer clear of that robotic sounding copy and instead pull at the reader's heartstrings. What you write can and will make your audience feel something. So make sure that that something is deliberate. If your agency needs some help with drafting copy for your clients, our white label team of copywriters can assist. Check out the links in the description below to find out more. Until next time, take care.